Well, hello there, you wonderful humans. And welcome back to Stardew Valley. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Ooh, we got cranberries. I didn't know it was going to be cranberry day. Actually, I probably did, but we haven't played in like a week. So I, we probably already picked these berries last time, but since we, I don't know if we finished the day or not. Anyways, it's a good day. It's cranberry day, which means we got more money. And we can probably pick up... I think we've got all of our cows. But we wanted to do an upgrade... I think we, we just did our upgrade to get bun buns, which means we need to buy... We did get bun buns already. We got a whole buttload of them. That's where all of our money went. All right, we gotta go touch them all. Good old quack. Just living it up, baby. Money bags. Fluffykins. Can't swim. <laughs> Poor can't swim. <laughs> Why did I name a duck dick bag? I don't remember doing that. Well, now that we're gonna make less money because I said that it'd be good. Well, I guess it wasn't the first 30 seconds, but it was pretty close. Sweet peach! <laughs> I must have been having a bad day that day. Um, <laughs> happy to catch alive. It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Sweet peach, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well as well. Uh, but yeah, we are playing our 100% Stardew Valley playthrough. Which means we've got a lot of work to do. It's still only year one. We've got plenty of time. I don't know how long this series is going to go for. I mean, obviously until we hit 100%, I just don't know how long it's going to take. You can rename that duck. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe the duck likes his name. We don't know. Ducks can also be D-bags. So, not just rabbits. Pretty much anything. Humans... Sometimes trees. Pretty much anything can. Ooh, I forgot about a random stuff down here. I mean, you don't gotta rename it, you just could. Yeah, but I'm not. Boo, boo, boo. We gotta start... Working on getting through the Skull Cavern as well. I want to get some auto petters, which means we need to be able to routinely get to level 100, which is going to require a metric buttload of stone. Oh, the stone. All right, it's 8:40 a.m. on a Thursday, which means we can go to the market. <clears throat> Oh my god, Kimberly. I decided I'm tired of farming, so I'm just exploiting my animals this year. Oh my lord. Hello, Penny's mom. Penny's mom has got it going on. She loves her booze and she drives drunk all day. Something like that. I am a beautiful singer. Natalie, thank you for the 11 months. Not being able to catch a stream for a while, so I've been binge watching to catch up. Hope all is well. I hope all is well with you. Glad to see ya. Oh, wait. I could have given her her morning beer before she drives. God dang it. Baby, come back. Zozo, what'd it do? When am I going to drop that remix on Spotify? Maybe tonight. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Lord. Today, hump day. It is hump day. God. It's locked. Okay, wait. Where's, uh, dude bro? Ooh, Penny. Well, I've never tried to give Penny booze before. I imagine she wouldn't very like it. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. I do agree. I do agree. Edumacation. Alright, so we still need Kern. Yams, pumpkins, and eggplant. Holy guacamole, Batman. Crafts room. Construction bundle. Exotic foraging. I think we have everything. We, we gotta make the taps. That's what we needed to do today. We gotta make the taps, because that's three of the five that we need. Which means we need wood and copper bars. 
<clears throat> Let's start doing it. Bug, get out of my energy drink, please. Be gone, foul be Sorry, am I playing vanilla? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I am. Or sir, I thought your hoodie was hair. The chat is very far from me. <laughs> I apologize. You know what? I've been waiting for Stardew. Well, hello. Well, hello. Why is chat so small and far away from me this time? Did I mess up something? I was moving things around and trying to get stuff set up for cat cam. Because what I'm going to try and do... Hmm. Not cat cam, but like face cam with cat cam. Let's try and get the background. So I got the... Hmm. That's not going to work as well as I thought. So like up there, cat wall stuff, but... I don't know. I just can't find a good spot for the camera. And now the camera's like super low and zoomed out and I look weird and the camera looks huge or the microphone looks huge. It's just not working out. Batcam? I mean, that's what it is called when I'm in it. Bree with the nine months. What it do? Oh, catwall. Maybe if I move it up. Can't do that. I don't know. Catwall? Yeah, I started putting pieces together today. Big high from Denmark. These Stardew vi uh, videos are like chicken soup for my soul. Much needed. Thank you. No, thank you. I think I just look tired. But no, the um, I want to get me in the camera as well as the, the cat stuff in the background. So I just kind of kind of working on. We got to get 25 levels deep. Boop. Boop, boop. All right, we gotta milk some stuff. Kyoink. Come on, Wagyu. Give me that sweet milk. How are you empty? That's better. Charles. Oh, sorry, Charles. I didn't mean to yoink you a second time. My bad. My bad, my bad. Big Mac with the big snacks? I don't know. Shouldn't be allowed to stream. Stardew is life, indeed. Indeed. Boop, 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 boop. Cat. The cat always sounds very displeased with being pet. It's like, don't! Touch me! Which is a very cat thing to do, so I would not be surprised in the least. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We got some milk. Did I make three tappers and not use them? Am I, like... Losing my mind? I think I should make more. Joanne Moxley with the one month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, did I... I tapped a mushroom. When did I do that? Man, I should not take so many days off from streaming. Alright, so, so let's see if we can find three different trees close by. So we got Uno. There's a bun bun near there. Alright, one... Two. And then I need the funky looking tree. There it is. And three. And we can clear out the rest. And Christina the goldfish. How's life as a goldfish? It's a pretty fire. Can't stay long. About to take my kiddo to a karate promo where he's getting his green belt. <gasps> That's amazing. Congratulations to the kiddo. make Christmas freaking miracle merch? Probably. You're probably right. God dang it. Cat lady. How are you? Alright. 
Now the question becomes, do we upgrade to gold shoes? I feel like it's kind of in our best interest to upgrade to gold tools. At the same time, mm, day 18. All right, we're gonna leave that. That's right, moo it up, baby. So we're already upgrading cows. And I think we're just gonna go full blown cow time. I don't really see a reason for us to go past cows. Just all that milk and cheese is going to be good. Goat cheese really isn't worth it because you can get two cheese for, you know, math. I don't need to explain math to you. A two for one milk special, essentially. That's what we're talking about. A heavy disc. Gunther can't tell me anything about that, so I can sell that. We've got our eggplant, we've got our pumpkin, we've got our corn, and we've got our yam. What the heck and heck? I vote for I am cow holiday merch. What would that be? Would that be like a cow stripping around a Christmas tree? Like, I don't know. A cow milking a Christmas tree. Cow doing something to a Christmas tree. Or a Christmas tree that turned into a cow and a cow that turned into a Christmas tree. Which one is which? How would you tell? I don't know. Cow with the Santa hat. That would work too. Uh, Mooey Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> ah! Beehive. The artisanal bundle. So we need some honey. So we need six of these bad boys. We've got the apricot. We've got an orange. We've got a pomegranate. That's three. Then we can get cheese, honey, and jelly. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. This one screwed us hard right in the butthole. The, the freaking rare crops. I haven't gotten the other one yet. We gotta go mess with Pig Lady a lot. Um, okay, so we redid that. Because we're not going on over here. A cow pulling a sleigh? That could work. Boiler room. What in Sam Hell? Treasure Hunter's bundle. Iridium ore, battery pack, and refined quartz. Oh. Hmm. I didn't realize the stream died there for a second. I don't know what happened. Blackbird, what's going on? Hello, Samantha. So we need we need to plant flowers. And we need honey. Uh ma'am. Last night, I dreamt that my left hand had turned into a gigantic pepper. Does that mean anything? Hmm. Whoa, where'd dude bro go? <gasps> oh, six o'clock at night, and I'm in their house? Oh, snap. Hmm, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Maybe I'll just take out from the saloon. Oh, Samantha, I hope you feel better. All right, we're gonna get everybody drunk at the saloon. Honey! Ignis, how are ya? I don't get Shane drunk. Nailed it. Go talk to Emily for the day. Hello, madame. Are you friends with Clint? He's a nice guy if you get to know him. What you, what you talking to Clint like that for, huh? Beautiful. Samantha! Cow streeping on a pole. I don't know what a streep is, but I'll figure it out. The, the good old streep. <laughs> Scrappy. 
Dappy Do. How are you? That, that rhymed too. On a roll today. Alright. Put this in. Ginger India with the 14 months. Look at the purple corgi. It's been a while since I watched. But I hope you're doing well. I hope you are too. And Annie Hill, how are you? Alright, time for bed. I don't think we have any cranberries to matter. But that's okay. We're slowly getting rich. Oh, we do have cranberries today. Oh, baby. A cow playing strip poker with Santa's elves? I pay for that merch. Why not? Still mad at how much I screwed up the cranberry crop this year. <laughs> we're not gonna do that next year. We're gonna we're gonna level up our watering can. You know what? Let's do that. Cause at least the first day of the year will always be a success if we do that, right? It's a solid plan. We got coconuts. Wait. Was it Emily that loves the coconuts? Or was it... No, it was Linus that loved coconuts. My coconuts bring all the Linuses to the yard and they're like, more coconuts. Wait, no, who liked the coconuts? Somebody likes coconuts, and I don't remember who. Uh, Penny likes amethyst. Or no, somebody liked amethyst. Sandy loves coconuts, too. Who the hell is Sandy? Linus and Haley. Haley loves coconuts. All right, we'll give her a coconut. Boo, boo, boo. Zozo's got a fancy profile thing now. I feel like that, am I like sitting in a different spot? What is going on? I feel so far away. Marie, what'd it do? Sam likes cactus fruit? Too bad, nobody likes Sam. We already, uh... Oh, did I not get the rest of my cactus boys too? Or uh, my cranberries? Coconut with caramel and dark chocolate. Oh. Oh, Linus? We're gonna marry Linus soon. So Caroline, Abigail, Emily, Haley. You know, I've never gotten a single heart with Haley. Haley! Open up! Abigail loves Amethyst, Penny loves Emerald. Okay, y'all are just saving me right now. I clearly know nothing. My little VTuber sona. Oh, that's amazing! I didn't know you did that. I should be a VTuber. Haley sucks. I agree, Annie. I agree. But she's gonna get our coconuts. Cause we've got cactus fruit for Linus. You can't marry Linus? I will find a mod. Hello? Oh, Haley, you suck. I still can't unsee the things from that X-rated Stardew mod video that I did, like the first time walking into this house. Horrible, horrible things were happening in here. And they are seared into my brain. 
Children! I don't have any booze for the kids. Dang it. All right, we're just wasting the day away, just failing miserably today. All right, maybe we can woo a Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Wah, wah, wah. Oh no. Gift. Seriously love this, you're the best. I got you. And haboom. We doing good? Hell yeah. Uh, but on the bright side, the worms are really loving it. They look even happier. Oh, nice. It's a fine looking day. You're inside. <laughs> we had one of those cranberries you sold the shop for dinner last night. I guess it was starting to go bad and dad couldn't bear to throw it out. Unfortunately, it tasted like garbage. Give me my amethyst back. I just gave you a gift from my heart. Shane wouldn't treat me like this. We're gonna go marry Shane. Cranberries, stupid, it's a garbage. It puts the lime in the coconut and cheers Haley up. <laughs> I bring tidings of coconuts! Oh my god, this is my favorite thing. She, you know, there's a joke in there somewhere. But anyways, wait, we didn't talk to her. Dang it. I divorced Shane because his room is so messy. I hated that I couldn't redecorate his room. You know, sometimes we just need to live in chaos, okay? Emily tried to serve me a cranberry for dinner last night. I threw it away when she wasn't like, God! The disrespect. Shane's trying to do a kickflip. I hope he dies. I hope he trips and falls into the freaking river. God dang it. Are you going to make fun of my freaking cranberries? No! I stopped by Pierre's the other day and bought a cran... And bought a cranberries. Yes, a cranberries. The ultimate A cranberries. It was the first time I've seen one of those in a while. Cooked it up for dinner last night, filled the house with an interesting odor. Fill you with an interesting Marrying Shane is like marrying a kid. I don't know, there's a lot of messy adults too. Somehow I keep finding them. When you sell too many of one kind of anything, the store they'll say that every time. Well, screw them! I'm gonna start making booze. What did I do to these cranberries? <laughs> it's, it's my secret recipe. Boop, boop, boop. They never like tags berries. Look! <sighs> Old man. Wait. Oh. I've already. Hey, no. I can give him another coconut. No, I can give him the cactus fruit. Again! Finally got my taco. Haven't watched in a hot minute, but loving Stardew. Again. Started playing when you did, and now have an insane number of copies. Insane number of copies? Ooh, Linus, let's go! You can learn a lot from the trees. Spend time with them, and they might tell you their secrets. Okay, Linus. Go in peace, young one. I shall indeed go in peace. Alright, so we need... Another copper bar, which means we need to go. Into, we need to go into the mines real quick. We need to get some copper. We need to get some coal too. Has anyone been following the Unity mess? Yeah, I pretty much just gave up on my 
on my game, unfortunately. They don't seem to be walking it back either. So... Bit of a bummer. Hey, we want to go to the dark zone. Let's go to the regular stuff. Yeah. I mean, the current CEO of Unity uh, was the same CEO that basically, like, destroyed EA and brought everything bad possible to EA, so... Not really surprised how this dude has a job. Have no idea. But, uh... Hopefully he never gets another job after this one. He's a garbage. Somebody needs to take a dump on his grave when he dies. He saves money, I'm sure. Well, yeah. Once a company becomes beholden to shareholders, then same type of stuff over and over and over. That's how it works. Unfortunately, because uh, the way that works is once you're a publicly traded company, your responsibility is to take care of your shareholders more than it is to take care of the, your consumers. So it's a completely logical way to do things. Or in his desk tonight. Somebody should totally Amber Heard his desk, his bed, his house, his car. Give him an upper decker on his toilet. I don't know. Just any number of things. There's a lot worse that I could say, and I hate always going to, like, the, the poop stuff, but it's safer to say that than anything else. <laughs> do, do, do. Copper did we get? 26. It's actually pretty good. Now we can go get some some coal, maybe. Thank you for the stream I needed it today. Karen, I hope you're doing well. Or at least things get better. Wish you the best. Tiffany! How are you? Doing well, doing well. It's wild that we haven't found a way to move past that mindset in business, because you can't. <laughs> Once you become beholden to thousands or millions of other people, you have very little control with that. As far as, like, if you piss them off, they take all their money out, then your business is gone. So, not really much you can do about it. It's safer to piss off a consumer than it is to piss off a shareholder. Because if you're providing something somebody needs, they're going to buy it anyways. Which is why we always keep complaining about all of it, but then we end up buying it anyways. And the cycle repeats. But thankfully, there's tons of other uh, really great engines out there. So that's not... <laughs> Very much the case for Unity. <laughs> what? What is this? Artichokes! I've never grown an artichoke in this game before. Mm -mm -mm. I don't need artichokes for anything. I don't know why I planted them. If we're being honest here. I don't think I need an art. I've never even seen an artichoke in this game. There's a Supreme Court case that says extra money has to go to the shareholders and not allowed to increase worker salaries. <laughs> I 
What is this? I like to buy a pumpkin from you, my daughter. Oh, it's Caroline. I don't believe I have more pumpkins planted. Oh, more artichoke. Maybe I didn't plant artichokes. It was those seeds that I planted earlier in the year. That would make a lot more sense. Someone asked for artichokes at some point. Well, they're not gonna get one. You missed the Red Dead content? Get a time machine and go to like five years ago. Or rewatch. I doubt anybody has watched all of the thousand videos that I put out for Red Dead. We'll put out more eventually, though. Eventually. It's a big regret. I guess I can't really regret it. It's a big sadness in my life that Take Two Interactive went so hard on modders and completely ruined the longevity of Red Dead Redemption. It's a big bummer for me. Because trust me, if I could play Red Dead Redemption every day god dang it i didn't even need copper uh every day i trust me i would i wouldn't play anything else it's my favorite game it is my favorite game of all time honestly if i could play red dead and animal crossing every day i wouldn't need to play anything else is the paleo update i need to go oh i forgot to play it Which makes me sad. I was so, 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 so excited for Paleo, but I haven't logged on. I mean, there's a couple of reasons I haven't logged on in a while, but... Um, Denise already did. That's why I hovered over it when I picked one. You can tell if you need it because the community center thing will vibrate. What are my thoughts on Coral Island? Um, good. Good. Not bad. Not great. But good. Am I going to play Paleo Pines? I don't think so. I'm going to play Moonstone Island. I, uh... Which is weird of me to say, Annie, because I like dinosaurs and I like farming games. You would think Paleo Pines would be, like, the bee's knees for me. Like, the cat's pajamas. But... But I'm really excited for Moonstone Island. It looks really good. Gregory, thank you for the ten gift memberships, you wonderful human, sweet baby Jesus. You're a scholar and a gentle person. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and welcome all the new and returning members. Thank you so much. Moonstone Island is like if Pokemon and Stardew Valley had a really weird night and somehow made a baby. Uh, that's what Moonstone Island is, with islands that you can travel to and all sorts of things. It, it looks really good. It's passed on most beautiful game ever made. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Jackie, with the 30 months, I saw a cozy farm sim coming. You were a vampire, can only farm at night. Interesting. There's a bit of a switcherooski there. Huh. Got drunk at a bar together? Maybe they did. I don't know. Well, trust me, I miss it too. We'll get back to it, though. Just hype for tomorrow for Cyberpunk at 11 a.m. I don't... I just read today that they're not dropping the update until definitely not tomorrow. What's at 11 a.m. tomorrow, though? If I could improve anything in Stardew Valley, what would I do? Hmm. That's a good question. What fish is this? Hold on, let me let me think about that. A 
I feel like I have an answer, but... I'd like to be able to run a shop. I'd like to take... Wow, that was a tiger trout, and I struggled that bad to catch it. Oh, the Nintendo Direct? Don't keep your hopes up for that. You'll, you'll hear some Animal Crossing music, probably, for the Animal Crossing Switch Lite thing that... Yay, like three years late. Um, we'll get a bunch of remakes. A bunch of remasters. Probably some information about more Mario games. Uh, probably something about the new Pokemon DLC, even though it just came out. And uh, not much else. I do have to say, I, I'm so sorry that I'm always so negative about Nintendo Directs. But I also don't want to give false hope. But I do hope for all of you that there's something that you will enjoy from that Direct. I hope it gives you something to be excited about. I really do. I wish our spouses and or children in Stardew Valley did something. I wish there was more of a reason to have them. Because otherwise it's just this person in your house doing things, but not actually doing anything. You know? Other than slowly falling out of love if you don't do things for them. Which is a pretty terrible relationship, I might add. If there's just one person constantly in the relationship having to keep the other person happy, but yet the other person's never do Like, that's just not fair. Water the crops or something. Will you be interested in Wormtown? I think it'll be fun to play on stream. Probably not. I've got so many things coming up. Trying to stay focused, get the channel back on track, all that stuff. So I don't have a, a lot of freedom to to do a bunch of different things at the moment. Um, I'll do a couple more of these. Boop, 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 boop. That's my life, help me. <laughs> <laughs> they water the crops sometimes when you have automatic sprinklers. Nickel! Somehow I miss those cranberries. All right, who needs to get milked? Come on, Mulissa. Oh yeah, that sweet, sweet, milky goodness. Hmm, freaking hmm. Bok, bok, bok. All right, we're gonna go, I think we're gonna invest in an auto grabber. Uh, Cause then we can automatically yoink the, the milkers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the cats. I have problems. I just, I don't remember words and I just say really weird stuff all the time. It's a big problem. Tag, why not try games, but have it as members only so you have more freedom now and again. Um, there's, there's lots of reasons. It's kind of hard to explain. We all know words are hard for you. They are. But there are certain things that I will be doing that for. For sure. Do, do, do. Boop, 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 I needed some of those things. We'll get more. It'll be okay. Be great. Wait, I need those. I do, for the most part, only play games that I enjoy. There's a lot of games that were that I like. I'll stop streaming. I'll just make content for them. Um, but for the most part, when it comes to streaming, I really I only stream and play what I love. Like if I'm not playing something, it's because I either don't enjoy it or 
on rare instances, don't have time. But if I don't have time for something, then it's just not worth putting time into, and therefore I probably just don't enjoy it as everything else that I'm already doing. Oh, god dang it. Uh, purchase more Moo Moo's. I should purchase at least a single goat. We will purchase a single goat, and we will name it Cow. Oh god. Uh, supply shop. The devs for Cult of Lamb say they're going to delete the game with all the Unity BS January 1st. There's a bunch of uh, companies that are planning on pulling their games at the moment. Goat products sell for way more than cow, but only because you get a goat product half as much as a cow product. Milk Maiden. <laughs> Miss Moo Moo. I saw people were trying to get a class action lawsuit together. I mean, honestly, they should be able to. Um, because they're retroactively putting that to onto every other game that has ever been made, and people have already paid all the, their dues for all those things, so what they're doing is actually pretty freaking illegal. Um, finally catching a live, been rewatching Among Us streams, oh my god, back in the olden times. Thank you, Kenzie. And here, you are, you now have a cow. Kenzie's cow. Mistake. Alright, so we need, oh my god. Two auto grabbers, fifty thousand doll hairs. All right. Miss Moo Moo was the name of my first plushie as a baby. Oh, it's adorable. It's a great name. Boop, 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 imaginative child. I mean, that's a great name for a cow. What are you talking about? What's wrong with it at all? Alright, so we need flowers. So we can get that sweet, sweet honey. And then we... You know what? Let's go do that right now. So the way that the uh, the mighty big brains of upper management at Unity were like, you know what, we're going to charge developers 20 cents every time somebody installs a game that they made with Unity. So that could mean any time the, the messed up part, there's actually a lot of messed up parts to it, uh, a plethora of messed up parts. What did I come here for? I came here for flowers. Um... So that's not just the first install. It's not the second install. It's any single time that person installs that game anywhere, whether it be on multiple computers. That means that people can actually create virtual machines and completely tank a competitor if they want because they can install it thousands of times. There's no way to uh, to track that kind of thing um, or anything like that. So it can be very, very easily taken. I have no money! very easily taken advantage of so um essentially if somebody sells like a five dollar game and that one person over the course of a couple of years 
You know, I've installed the same games like 10 times. That's $2 right there. <laughs> which you're, which Steam already takes 30% of the revenue. So then you're already losing, so you're losing 30%, then $2 every time, like if somebody, even, like it's just, it's absolutely freaking bananas. But it's even worse for games that have like persistent servers or dedicated servers or anything like that. Like anything that involves any kind of online thing. Because you also have to install the game on those servers, so... If you have an online game, then every single time somebody downloads the game to run a server, whether it be on uh, on their own machine for a dedicated server, or a virtual machine, or through any kind of service provider, they're going to get charged 20 cents for that too. So, uh... <laughs> Essentially, it is the most effed up thing a company could ever do to any kind of game developer, especially because most game developers on Unity are indie devs, which means most people are going to go out of business because of it. Oh yeah, I forgot we have the uh, the auto feeder there. What if the competitor or company pulls their game and you paid for it on Steam? If they pull their game, you can still play it, but they'll probably still get freaking charged every time you install it too, which is the messed up part. So even them pulling it, they can still get basically destroyed from it. <sighs> Mickey Buckeye, thank you for becoming a bean. All right, I think everything is good. Did we place our... We placed our auto grabbers. We have energy for the day. Let's go... Let's, let's keep cleaning up the farm a little bit. If you have a game now and it gets pulled, you can still play it. You just can't buy it again. Boop, 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 boop. So, essentially, people, companies pulling their games doesn't actually help them at all, because people can still install and basically do everything they're worried about anyways, so. It's it's just all pretty messed up across the board, fortunately. If they wanted money, they could have easily done what every other company does and just take a small percentage of game sales after a certain revenue mark. <laughs> Nobody would have had a problem with that. I mean, they would have had a problem with it, but it wouldn't have been nearly as bad. Anyways, thank you for joining my TED Talk. <laughs> Sorry, I went on a Unity rampage there for a second, but I was just answering questions. Give me that hardwood. That sweet, sweet hardwood. After a game reaches 200,000 in revenue or 200,000 installs. It's like nothing. Um, last year there was a guy that made two games that have like 10 million downloads that he released for free. Um, and they are still for free. Essentially, he would owe like $5.6 million at the moment for how many installs that they had or something like that. For a game that he never made any money on. Hey, the final dwarf scroll. Hell yeah.
<clears throat> Does that happen too when a game is updated? Yep. Where am I going? Oh, I was focused on the dwarf scroll. Little bit of extra money. <laughs> Is concerned ape on unity? Uh, I actually have no idea. I want to say that he ended up building his own thing, but I'm actually not 100% sure on that. T-Town, what's new? Oh, you know, just life being life. That's about it. I right, already turned in the eggplant. Don't need gold of anything. Saving the artichoke just in case. So we can turn in the dwarf scroll. We can sell the rare disc. We don't need that anymore. Boop. Um, what else? What else? What else? I kind of want to start saving up for going into Skull Cavern now. It's Sunday. It's a new present day. I guess we can keep giving coconuts to Haley. I kind of want to see her just stop being such a butthead all the time. It puts the lime in the coconut and mix it all up. We'll grab an amethyst and an emerald. And we can just pick up beer for the other two. Maybe we have some rabbit's feet. But also, we have uh, 450 people watching and less than uh, 100 likes. So if y'all are enjoying the stream, bottle that like button like you would pet your cow. I, I don't know. Pet your animals? Something. Something like that. Help is what I'm saying. <laughs> Help. Stardew was made on Microsoft XNA. I've never even heard of that. chicken that I that's Bella the chickens Bella who's swimming oh my god it oh hold on who was that egg squirter Jesus of course that would be our first duck that ever swam We check our mail. There's a vegetable from the little garden to keep. This is out of season, Caroline. Ooh, good momento. I'll be right back.
Boop, boop. You get anxiety when I leave the game running? Psh, you have so little faith. Take my coconuts. What does she do with the coconuts? Emily tried to serve me cranberries. No! I don't like health food. I've never been in the forest. It's muddy and I could get a blister on my foot. <laughs> what? I passed out in Core Island because I thought it ended at 2 a.m., not 1 a.m. Not my fault. I mean, it's kind of my fault, but also, is it really? <gasps> oh, I can enter the bed chambers. We're hiding in here so we don't have to talk to anyone. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> here, have some presents. It was the previous owner who built the altar room. We aren't religious, but we let the other townsfolk use it if they want. Wait, there's an altar room? Uh, oh, that is... Can I touch it? Kirsten, thank you for the 11 months. How are you? I bought the tastiest cranberries from Pierre's shop the other day. He said that he grew... I'm going to stab him in the throat and then steal his wife. God dang it. disrespect I get in this town. Wait. Baby, come back. <laughs> it was the perfect on a bed of greens and a dash of special vinaigrette. What the hell is special vinaigrette? Robin's Project. 80 hardwood in a day. <laughs> is funny. Bro's eating blueberries now too and Pierre. I hate Pierre. Pierre needs to die in a fire. It's hard to have fun on Sunday. I keep thinking about having to go to work tomorrow. Aw. Aw. Tear. Piss off. Cat. Why are you like this? Is it because I put your bed on the floor? Here. Look. Look. Bed. 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 <clears throat> Why is he like this? Because cat? Yeah. <sighs> because cat's right. Oh, hello. I was going to dye my hair, but then I decided against it. Well, bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh, I came here to talk to pig lady. That's right. I knew there was a reason. Pig lady. Tear, the scratching post isn't ready for cat time yet. Look, he's he's messing with the cat stuff. Because he knows one day it will be for cat. Just turn it off instead of on. See him? Where'd he go? He's like a phantom in the night. What? Ugh. <gasps> Gone. It's gone. He knew what was happening. Rocco, thank you for becoming a, a super bean. How are you? We got Kern, Pufferfish, Anchovies. Oh. Oh, and 
and a rare crow. We can get that one, though. Child! Wait, we gotta go pick up booze for the children. Actually, you know what? Screw that. We're gonna go chop some trees. <laughs> Plot twist, there isn't a cat named here. It's all in Tag's head. You know how crazy that would be? And how potentially a thing it could be? I could just be losing my mind this whole time. I could legitimately be going insane. I've never seen him on video before. <laughs> I don't have any cats. Well, 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 well. What a predicament that would be. And congratulations, Rocco. Do, do, do. You even took a video? Nothing was there? I know, that's like proof. Look at me like that, cat. I bet she's going to get herself some mayor right now. Some of that sweet, sweet mare. <gasps> Thank you, I really love this. Aw, yeah. Picked up cranberries at the store last night. My mom wanted something good for dinner. They shouldn't say it was terrible. Hello, Maru. Maru, what do you like? Who is this guy? Cauliflower. This is for me? Marvelous. Saw that we had fresh cranberries in the shop. It smelled just perfect and firm, too. Ooh. Why'd you say it like that? Why would I give anything to Penny? Because I have to be- Get out of my way, you drunk! What? Go! Go! First booze of the night. There you go. Merry Christmas. She loves strawberries and battery packs. Does she really? <gasps> Caroline. Okay, everybody's still talking about my cranberries. Pierre's taking credit for them. I don't appreciate it. Maru also likes cauliflower and gold bars. Ooh, we got we got gold bars. I can fulfill that need. Oh my god, there's so many people that just don't even know I exist. No, when these talk when they talk good about it, Pierre takes credit for it. Which is why I get upset. Was I drinking? Just a Red Bull. In a solo cup with ice, because it was warm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Red solo cup. You F me up. Do 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 do. Beer is the worst. I agree. We'll have a uh, murder Pierre party. Just murder Pierre.
Ooh, a diamond. What else do we need? Am I out of wood? No. Good, good, good. Little bars. All right. Should you become a JoJo Mart member just to piss off Pierre? It's the best idea I've ever heard. Honestly, like legitimately like such a good idea. I married Haley once. It was my favorite romance storyline. <gasps> she grows on you. I know. She's salty on the outside. Yeah, I stopped there. Anyways, um. Had a brain fart. What am I doing? So we need to upgrade that to gold next. Oh, I can't even forward that now. Shoot. I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see where Haley's storyline goes. I've She's always been so abrasive that I've just never bothered interacting with her at all. Harvest them, Kern. I just kind of want to have it there. Oh, jeez, Mega. Holy guacamole. I'ma pet my ducks. Are the bun buns old enough? Fluffykins is good. I need more bun buns. We need more feet. I think we need to get a whole bun bun pen. Which is a big investment because you don't really make a lot of money from bun buns. But I kind of feel like it's maybe not the worst idea to just go do that. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I've got a duck feather. Wait, we don't need any regular milk for the bundle? It's just large milk? Oh, it is. Oh. Okay. More bun bun buddies? Alright, so we need to... We need to get money. And build another pen. We gotta start saving our money now, too. It's my bun bun in a box. You saw the bun bun's feet? No. We use them to. Because a lot of people like the lucky rabbit's foot for leveling up friendship. So. We need one to do that. I feel like carrying around milk in the middle of the day is maybe not the best idea. Shane, have a morning drink. I went shopping last night and picked up fresh cranberries on sale for only 75 gold. I do wish we could have, like, the county fair thing actually in the game. Like, where you can actually have, like, your grange display and sell stuff out of it instead of having to sell it always at Pierre's. Do the Bun Buns breed? I've never gotten a Bun Bun baby before. Pretty sure there are websites for more feet. Oh my god, K Bears. I should sell foot pictures. Do it for charity. Me and my ogre feet. 
gonna sell that artichoke. Those are really like a decent amount of money. The farmer's market is a solid mod. It really is. No, this is a completely vanilla playthrough. Like, we're not... We're not using any mods for that, for this. I feel like bun buns should breed though because bun buns like they get their groove on a lot hey man some people like ogres hey look i'm not king shaming nobody <laughs> gay bears <laughs> sometimes you just got to do what you got to do you know all right we've got it is, we got six more days of fall. That means we've got two more harvests, question mark, of cranberries. That's about 60,000 doll hairs. That's not going to get us very far. Um, we're about to be broker than broke. The brokest of brokes. Pigs make so much money? Yeah, but they're not going to make us any money during the winter. But that's going to be my next upgrade. Is uh, We're going to get a full-blown cow, full-blown cows, and then full-blown pigs. And that's how we're going to make our money. And if we get our pig pen built up for the for spring, then all year we get to make that sweet, sweet piggy money. Pigs cost sixteen thousand. Oh, I know. Oh, trust me, I I am aware. Oh, uh, we should have got our morning booze. Dang it. totally should have taken advantage of only beans back in the day i could have gotten like like maid outfits for the cats and things like that or like sultry cat photos with weird outfits big missed opportunity should have taken advantage of that <laughs> winter forage means money the problem is i don't have my foraging leveled up enough um my foraging is only level 6, and I'm not going to be able to level it up in time. Unfortunately. We should talk to Sandy. I forget that Sandy's even a part of the game. Tiffany, I haven't. Why are you trying to stress me out like this, Tiffany? I suck way too much to get to level 100 yet. I don't even have a good weapon. I haven't- I, this is the longest I've played without getting the, uh, the Sword of Swords. Ten coconuts, huh? Eight hundred gold for two coconuts? You can suck my coconuts. That's so much money. Uh, we are gonna go into the cavern today. It's not a good idea, because I don't really have... Actually, no, it's a horrible idea. I- I'm ter- I don't have a- I don't have weapons for it. Get pigs by the second week of winter? Oh, I got you. Don't feel bad. I tried to stay there all day and cannot make it to 100. It's sad. It's rough. It really comes down to, like, stairs. Stairs and holes. And bombs, yeah. I just don't have the money for any of that yet. 
Kern. Sweet Kern. Am I planning on playing the Pokemon DLC? No. Nope, nope, nope. I never... Ooh. Orange mushies. Or, I promise I'm not colorblind. I'm just dumb. Take a sunstone to the dino skeleton. I'm intrigued. Do I have a sunstone somewhere? The dino skeleton in the desert? Jessica, what's going on? How are you? A sunstone, you say? <laughs> I have a dried starfish. Does that count? <laughs> I'm assuming not. Three o'clock. Got all those geodes. I actually have a lot of geodes. I just don't have a lot of money. But, well, it's like a hundred gold per crack, so I can only do like 10 anyways. Man, being broke sucks. Go to sleep. Have we given Haley her double coconut surprise? No. Neither Linus. Okay. Sunstone in the chest. Are you talking about solar essence or a sunstone? Because that's solar essence. I don't see anything called a sunstone anywhere. They keep calling it sunstone, but it's solar essence. God dang it, Bobby. Oh, and I have to unlock the quest before I do it. Man, y'all send me out all through all these goddamn rabbit holes for no reason. Doing me dirty like this? Say what? Joe Lee. Nice. Very nice. Coconuts coming in hot, baby. Is not even up here. Where does she go? Emo dudes walking in the rain. Leaving your telescope out in the rain, that's no bueno. Oh, a golden cactus. Love me. Why dot dot dot? I've explored deep into the caves. I bet you have, Linus. I bet you have. Three more hearts. Is this the 100% run? Yes, it is. Now we gotta find Haley. I'm assuming she's maybe just chilling like a villain in her house. Playing the Steam Deck this time? Nice. Haley! Baby! Come 
It's my mating call. Get out here. Come here. Come hither. <gasps> it worked. Come closer. We're so close. No. No. Who just wanders around their room like this? Everything is a tragedy. <laughs> All right, we're going to the bar. Doesn't Penny love salad as well? Wait, no, who loves salad? It's Leah, right? Or, uh, it's Leah loves salad. Um, somebody, somebody likes salad. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. You like salad. Two beers and a salad, please. God, beer is so expensive. I'm never going to save money if I keep getting everybody drunk in this town. It's just not fair. This is excellent. Yes. Boop, boop, do, do, boop, do, boop. Time to get drunk, cause it's Monday. Boop, ba, doop, ba, doop, ba, doop, do. Already gave Shane a gift today. Oh, I got him drunk this morning. Willie! What is Willie like? Does he like fish? Also, what is Emily like? I've wooed Emily before, so I should know this. She likes weird stuff, right? Leah loves truffles, salad, goat cheese, and wine. Oh, baby. Emily likes gems. Of course she likes gems. Does she like anything that I can afford? Emily also likes cloth, you say. Well, well, well. If I had a dollar every time I got an email to advertise for a certain mobile game, I would probably have made more money than that certain mobile game offers. <sighs> oh, I tried to cut a duck's head off. Jesus, go to sleep. All right, it's time to go to bed. I'm not saying it because I'm not getting paid for it. But y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I'd have a buttload of dollars. I could make it rain. Got enough for another beer today. <laughs> cranberry day! Praise Cranberry Jesus. Hello Kitty Island Adventure? Yes, Randall. Yes. Although, I would gladly advertise Hello Kitty's Island Adventure. Also, I may or may not have started binge-watching One Piece recently, and I'm already on episode like 200, and I may or may not have a problem, and I just sit on the couch like a gelatinous blob all day, binge-watching One Piece and eating Hot Pockets, and I might have a problem. I hope these ones taste better than prior batches. You know what? I'm not even gonna give them to Pierre. No, I kinda need to give them to Pierre though, cause I gotta upgrade. I started binging that too, but not Hot Pockets. Look, Hot Pockets are delicious. Is there any other way to watch One Piece? Is it good? I started watching the live action. Uh, so I watched the live action first and I was intrigued. Like some of the live action was a little weird. 
but I genuinely, truly enjoyed it. Um, and then after watching the anime, I'm like, okay, this is perfect. Like, this is how a live action should be. Like, it's it's a perfect representation of the anime, and I, I think they did a magnificent job. And uh, absolutely falling in love with the anime. It's great. Completely addicted to it. And there's, like, over a thousand episodes. The only thing worse than finding an anime you like is finding an anime, anime you like that doesn't have a lot of episodes. So, uh, if you're looking for something to binge and you just want to eat Hot Pockets in bed and just watch something, just watch One Piece. Like, you won't regret it. So it's just as if all the anime is weird. <laughs> all of the anime is weird. Um... The, I mean, One Piece is pretty old, so, like, getting used to the art style of the, uh, the olden times is a little, a little weird at first, but once you get over it, it's, it's pretty great. But on the Spy X family, Spy X family is also fantastic. Like, Edge Runner's way too short. Edge Runner's made me cry like a freaking baby. The feels trip. Rough. Let's go make some money! One Piece has a lot of episodes and a lot of movies. It's very confusing. Did anyone not know of One Piece before the live action? No, a lot of people knew of One Piece, but a lot of people never watched it. Um... Like, I know people that didn't, like, haven't watched it because, like... Like, the, the animation was off-putting or whatever it was, or... They've got their own favorites, you know? Or whatever it is. There's always reasons for everything. But I never, I never got into it, because I just, uh... I just never did. I was watching so many other anime when I was younger. And the sheer amount of content is daunting, yeah. I believe it's actually the most popular anime period. One Piece? Um, I think... Well, actually, I think One Piece might have overtaken Naruto as most popular anime worldwide. Officially. <laughs> After some time. But I'm actually not 100% sure on that, if I'm being honest. Alright, did uh, we gave Linus two surprises. We got Caroline, Pam, Abigail, and Haley needs her coconut for the day. Also, the sister suggested you watch Violet Evergarden if you want to cry some more. Why is your sister trying to make me cry? What the heck? Also, I started watching, um... It's a new Netflix anime called My Happy Marriage. I think is what it's called. Surprisingly, very interesting story. Do not watch it in English, though. I started watching it in English, and I couldn't get through, like, ten minutes of it, and I started watching it in Japanese, and it got a lot better. <laughs> um, but very interesting anime. I think the full first season is out now. Ah! My happy manga is really good. Oh, nice. Well, hello to you. You smell something odd? Does she just say I stink? You're going to be living on the farm one day. You know what? I'm just going to spite Mary Haley at this point. Get out of my way! Hey, that uh, was a manga, and it got good and turned into an anime. I've never watched uh, Fruit Basket. Another one I've never seen. Yeah, I watched Spy X Family. Y'all were recommending that for a while, and it's very good. Here, have a rock. This is interesting. Yeah, be my penguin. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this. Well, suck on my rocks. Everybody's getting a rock today. You get a rock. You get a rock. Nobody appreciates Gen 2 penguins in this town. Fruit basket is feels, so be ready. Oh, Lord. You know
you know what? I have gems. Wait. Oh, God, it's special day. Oh, shoot. I forgot the dandelion. So, Emily likes rocks. Purple means purple. Purple rock. Purple rock. That's how I remember what people like. Fruit Basket is so good. They did such a wonderful job with the reboot. The real, uh, and really, really good English dub voice acting. Oh, nice. Your favorite anime is one called Tiger and Bunny. It's about superheroes. I've never heard of that one. Rogue cows. The cows are loose. What kind of gems does Emily like? Any gem? Like diamonds? Emily Stardew Valley. She likes rubies and topaz. I've got a bunch of topaz. Abigail going right now. I try to help. Uh, business has been pretty bad since the Jojo Mart opened, though. That's because y'all make fun of everybody's freaking food. Pierre's probably wiping his butt with my cranberries as we speak. Did I just say Pierre's wiping my butt with cranberries? I mean, his butt. But, you know. Ooh, there's that new uh, Studio Ghibli movie coming out, right? Or is out? Shake that booty. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. Exercising can be fun. Yes. In Stardew Casino, I set up my turbo controller on the slot machine and left it alone for hours. I bought an inventory full of hardwood fences and then sold them. I made 350,000 gold in a single day. Ex freaking excuse me? Wait, what? What were the hardwood fences for? Hmm. Akukai. No idea when the subbed and dubbed, though? Ooh. I just need to learn Japanese. That's the moral of the story. You can buy them with the key points. Oh, my God. sweet baby Jesus! All right, what the heck and heck am I doing tonight? Let's see if we have any rabbit's feet. Watch it, buddy, daddies. <laughs> Such a weird name. Old oh, buddy daddies, huh? Wait, why are my chickens locked up? Who's committed this crime? Pets the bun buns or gets the hose again. It touches the cows. <laughs> I forgot I named the goat cow. I got very confused for a moment. Star Harper, thank you for the 13 months. How are you? So we should have another harvest. How are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. The old fish taco. Thank you. December 8th for the boy and the heron. Interesting. Thank you, Sarah. Sara? <laughs> mm 
Cranberry party. It's his last movie, is it really? I didn't know that. So got the pumpkin for Caroline. Didn't you retire a few years ago and then decided to come back? Isn't that how it always works though? Did I build a silo? Yeah, of course I built a silo. We're gonna harvest our grass in the final day. We're just gonna harvest everything that we can. I've been trying to let it grow as much. Hopefully I have enough to make it through the winter times. I think I do. Relatively certain I do. I'm saying he's retiring since Princess Mononoke. That's right, honk it up over there. Do we have room for more things? You definitely need to make sure to pet the bun buns every day. If we don't, we'll burn in hell. Man loves his work. I mean, what do you do when you're retired? I feel like... Like, at that point, you just kind of die. Like, I feel like that's when most men just die. It's like, if you ever just stop working, that's when it's just everything's over and you just die. Which is why most, <laughs> like, you just don't stop. You just keep doing something. Like, what else do you have to do? Sit around and watch anime and eat Hot Pockets in bed all day? Like, you only do that for so long. Before your back starts hurting again and stuff. Is Fae Farm worth the $60 for Switch? I'm debating on getting it. I feel like the consensus is it's not worth $60 on Switch, but it is worth less on Steam. Because you can get it for less on Steam. Dang it. My father-in-law, when he retired, he started all the hobbies he couldn't while working. He took up woodworking, hiking, etc. Nice. I didn't check for eggs. Oh, because I didn't care about the eggs. I also didn't realize it was a Wednesday, which puts a rather large wrench in and around my plans. All right, we're going to get the kids drunk. No, the kid needs the drink. Ew, this is icky. Ah, I forgot. I'm, I'm wearing his pants. My grandpa retired from farming and got diabetes next year. I feel like when you just like, I don't know. I've been working pretty much two to three jobs. Except for right now, I'm just working one right now. 
Um, but until like last year, I was working two to three jobs every day, seven days a week since I was about 14. Like this past year is the maybe the least amount of time that I've worked since I was a child. It's very odd. <clears throat> I was watching some streamers play uh, play Fay Farm today. I actually went on Twitch and I started trying to uh, to watch some people stream it to see if it was something that I wanted to stream. I think I'm waiting for Moonstone. Like, there's only so many cozy games that you can play before they all start feeling the same. happy when I work, though. Like, when I'm not working, I don't know what to do with myself, really. It's weird. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way, though. So I guess we're going to sell everything in the box today, except for one pumpkin. Uh, we'll give her a gold pumpkin, right? I'm going to kind of, I'm suddenly nervous. We're good. I already turned into pumpkin. I'm gonna save it just in case. I need an adventure friend? Maybe. <gasps> My first rabbit's foot. Finally, we did it. Some anime are good in, in, in English. Yeah, some animes are good in English. Like, One Piece has been fine in uh, with the English du uh, dub. Um, most animes, I gotta say, are better with Japanese and English subs. But that depends on if you want to, like... Um, Renray, yes. I will be back playing Ark when it... Uh, when the... Uh, yes. Or Survival Ascended, or whatever it's called. Yes, I will be back. I will be back for that. All right, we're going to go to sleep. So we're on a mission to woo people. It's hot girl winter, I guess. The pumpkin is for Caroline. Yes, it is. Girl winter. Boo, 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 boo. So it's day 25. I actually, it's four days. So 25, 26, 27, 28. That's five. Wait. 25, 26, 27, 28. So we should have one more cranberry harvest. I think. Um, but that being said, ladies and gentle people of the interwebs, um,. What do I want to do? We have... I think... I think we go to winter, right? Like, we don't have much to do. I don't have... I mean, we have enough money. All right, let's go buy Bun Buns, first and foremost. We'll upgrade the barn again. We've got plans. We just got to, like, complete said plans, right? We need more Bun Buns. We need more rabbit's feet. Are rabbit's feet even like a worthwhile gift? How many of the villagers love them? I think every villager likes them, but not all villagers love them, right? Which does make life easy because I can just carry a gaggle of them, especially once I can get gold quality ones, then it becomes easier that way. We're streaming anything else later today? 
No, um, just, uh, just one for today. Unfortunately. Tool upgrade. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want to get... The silver watering can. You know, I have never... Actually, I've never gotten a gold watering can. I don't think we do not have enough money to invest in gold tools right now. I don't think it's a good investment. We're going to stick at the... Definitely not enough money for a, uh, a gold watering can. That would be such a waste. I wasn't doing a goodbye. I was, uh... It definitely sounded like a goodbye, but it, it, it wasn't intended to be a goodbye. It felt like it, though, didn't it? Alright, let's grab all of our... All of our things. Oh. This. That in there, that in there. Cactus can go in here. This and da, that and da. Hit that sweet, sweet organization button. Wait, can I not pull directly out of there? I thought we could. We got some thick milk yet? We do. Um. I'm confused. Why can't I pull out of the silo? Alright, screw it. If we can't pull out of the silo, let's pull out of this thing. Christ. I am the champion, my friends. Bum, 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 bum. Getting all the hate to the end. Bum, 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 bum. Look at that chicken sleeping under the tree like a majestic beast. Now, I knew about the empty trough thing. I just could have swore we could pull out of the silo directly. I don't remember having to do it specifically from the uh, the trough only, but that might have been a mod that I'm remembering. Just always a problem. Rocka. <laughs> so you got some thick milk yet, my wife? What are you watching? Oh, you in trouble now. <laughs> you best go cook some dinner or something. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do. At least she wasn't there when I was talking dirty to the cows earlier. Move it, Sir Box, a lot. All right, we're stonking up on hay. It's a Thursday, which means Marnie should finally be working. Alright, 
mission slowly but surely accomplished. We would have lost all this hay anyways, but we still got a couple days left. Uh, so what I'm going to do is instead of harvesting all of this down here, I'm going to leave bits in the hopes that it does proliferate um, over the uh, the next three days and we get a little bit more. Which would be quite nice. All right, uh, Caroline. She mighty fine and needs a present. Impulse, what did it do? Organize. We need one dandy lion. Daffodil, also known as Daffodil. Pierre, Pierre deserved to be cheated on by Caroline and the wizard. He's a garbage human. God dang it, where is she? I guess we can turn on the scroll today too. And pick up our watering can. Wait, Haley likes daffodils? I've already given her two presents though. And she's at two hearts. The highest amount of hearts I have ever gotten Haley in my 1,000 hours of playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's, it's a mess. 1,000 pieces of wood. You're absolutely bananas. Positively insane. What is Leah like salad, but I don't have any. Go buy some. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to hating Pierre. That is amazing, actually. This is also the highest level watering can I have ever gotten. Am I dumb? Oh, I needed Dwarf Scroll 1. It's always one that I need, because I never end up getting it early in the game. Ugh, I need a horse. God dang it, Bobby. Buddy! Past waifu. You're very lucky to have a library. God dang it. Tell me something I don't know about the library, Penny. Nightmare. Like Cranberry Kingdom for a horse. I would I would give it up right now for a horse. <gasps> Alrighty. Wait. Does she say nicer things at two hearts? I feel the urge to go shopping. In this podunk town? What are you going to shop for? My cranberries and then complain about them? Caroline! Where's she at? Okay, this is a bloody tragedy. Boop, boop, doop. Boop, boop, boop. There she is. Creepy little dandelion gifting stalker. What am I going to make for dinner? Um, lasagna. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Things are progressing. Success is happening. We're slowly but surely wooing everybody but half the town. Um, this is the most amount of people I have ever wooed in Stardew Valley at any one point in time ever. Wait, we can go get people drunk real quick, as is tradition. Shane, are you... Shane, Pam... We can get Leah at the same time. 
Does Penny like Salad by chance? Bam! Maybe she likes spag and balls. Wait, booze! Oh shoot! Thank you. This looks special. It is special. Thank you for noticing. All right, so we got salad for Leah next time we see her. Yes. Oh, great. Story of my freaking life right there. Just a creepy new dude. How creepy. You know all of you in real life would be creeped out if some new random dude rolled into town and just started gifting people random stuff twice a week. How weird would that be? I wouldn't be friends with that person. I'd be like, this is weird. <laughs> Plus, whatever happened to that whole thing, like where a neighbor moves in and you're supposed to bring the new person in town gifts? Like, I've never seen that in real life either. Is this some kind of thing that was made up on TV? I haven't even talked to any of my neighbors. I don't even know who they are. I've never even seen them. And I've seen one of them. Anyways. Here's the thing I found in the mines. Love me. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, now I must bid you adieu. Hitting that two hour mark. Uh, but thank you all so very, very much for hanging out with me, you wonderful, wonderful humans. I hope each and every one of you have a fan freaking tastic night. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>